Hey everyone, it's Pixelade here and welcome back to the channel. This is my first for rent video. The pack is finally out and I knew this was the first video that I was going to make for you guys because I know a lot of people have been asking, what's the deal with elevators? Are there actually elevators in the pack? Can we use elevators? What's the tea with that? You know, we have the ability to make apartments and duplexes and that sort of thing and it's going to start getting annoying having to climb three four flights of stairs to get to and from your units every day and unfortunately there are no elevators in the sims 4 for rent i know a little disappointing but there is some good news that is if you are a pc or a mac player there is a mod by little miss sam i will have a link to this down in the description box below that allows you to actually have functional elevators now the these are separate objects. These are not the same elevators as the ones from City Living, but it's quite easy to find them. In build by mode, with the search bar, all you have to do is type in elevator. Of course, you're going to see your City Living elevators, but there are two custom content ones, working residential elevator, and then there is a fancy variant as well. These do come in different color swatches. I believe you can only place a maximum of six of these on one lot, which should be enough for how many floors we're able to have in The Sims 4, but if you wanted to place two or three per floor and kind of have them be next to each other in case you're creating like this big apartment building feel, then unfortunately you're not going to be able to do that. Now before we go any further, I do want to say this is actually not my build. I did not build this apartment. This apartment is gorgeous though. It was created by Simmer Indie. So huge shout out to them. Very, very talented creator. They're on the gallery and they are also over on YouTube. I did see in the description that they did a speed build of this, so make sure you guys go check that out. I did make some changes here and there, though of course I assigned all of the apartments to their respective units, 1A, 1B, and that goes up to all four floors. And of course, now that we have the new expansion pack, I did place in eight mailboxes for all eight units here and because there were more than six units I did have to use the cheat so that I could add on two more units to pass our limit of six units per lot. So now to get into the whole point of this video, elevators. I believe most if not all of the swatches on the custom one from Little Miss Sam are also on the city living elevators as well but it's nice because once you place the elevators it's super easy. No your sims don't press the button, the door doesn't open, they don't go inside they kind of just disappear before the elevator and appear on the next floor but it's just going to make it a heck of a lot better than having to climb so many flights of stairs and also for some builds it's just going to make more sense to have elevators of course i have some doors to head out to the laundry room but i have our up arrow and some vines on the next floor up and down arrows same for the third floor and on the final floor just a down arrow since we are at the top of the build so let's go ahead and give this a shot. So in live mode, you're basically just going to click wherever you want to go. So I'm going to have my sim actually come inside of the lobby and stand right in front of the elevator. Now I'm going to have her go straight to the second floor. So you're just going to go to the second floor, click go here and look just like that. She goes up. There really isn't too much to it, whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing. Personally, I love this. They don't even need to go inside. I know they did in the Sims 3 late night, but hey, I'll take fun functional elevators in our custom apartments over flights of stairs any day. So I'm going to have her skip one floor and actually come up to the very top. And you're going to see exactly what she does as I follow her. She disappears, reappears. It's that easy, that simple, but I wanted to make a video about this. I wanted this to be the first thing that I put up because I knew so many people would want to check this out. So if you don't already know who Little Miss Sam is and don't know of their mods, well, now you do. Of course, links to everything that you'll need will be down in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and happy life simming.